Welcome to project four. In this project what you're going to do is you're going to assemble a character. Uh, you're going to use uh, things out of the library to make a, a character. And you're going to do what's called a lip sync. You're going to make the character talk and say a sentence. Then you're going to use a sound button here. It will go like this. Brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Once again, a quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. In Project 4, you create a background and a character. You use symbols from the external library. You give your character a voice. You add the text captain, the caption that indicates what the player is saying. Then you make the player's mouth move to match what he's saying. And you add a play button to control the movie. In Lab 1, we're going to use symbols from an external library to create a background for your scene. So what you do is you open up Flash, you click your Action Script 3, then you file, save your document as Lip Sync. I'll open up my Project for Resources, and I put it there. Next thing I do is I set up my file by uh, resetting my essentials. So I click Window, I come down to Workspace, and click Reset Essentials. We're introduced to Library Assets in this section. A asset is anything that's in your library. It can be a sound, it can be a symbol, it can be anything that you created or anything that you brought in from another source. Okay, there's a lot of pre-made assets in this uh, particular uh, unit. In uh, Project 4, you'll find that you've got um, the mouth, the, um, the parts of the character that, you're going, that are already there. Now, you can design your own later on, but you have a lot to work with in this project. So now I'm going to import external assets. I'm going to go File, um, Import. So we're going to open external library. So there's P4 assets. Open that. There we go. Since we're going to go back and forth with the library over and over again, I'm going to dock the library. That means I'm going to put it, you have properties, library, and I'm going to have this library right up top here. So we can switch out the different properties here. We can go between the different libraries. We move our panels around. See what I did was I put the new library on the other side of the properties in the old library. This is because we're going to be going back and forth a lot and this just makes it easier when we're docking it up against the top toolbar like this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to label this back, this layer background. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my library. I can open up backgrounds. I click that down. I get to choose between a city street and a forest. So I just pick the one I want and I drag it onto my um, drag it onto my background here. Now I just align it. I go to window. I go align. So I align it to the left and I align it to the top. Now I'm going to lock my background. Just click on the lock symbol. Welcome to lab two. What we're going to do in lab two is we're going to create our, um, our character from the library assets. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start making my, oh, I'm going to add another layer. So let me pull this up. Click Add Layer. Call this one Character. Now I'm going to open up the character here. I'm going to click Body and open that up. And I can look at the different types of bodies.
So I can choose anyone I want, and I can put the character in the on the screen. Now we don't add any body parts just yet. Um, this is how the body symbol is. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to add hair, eyes, and a shirt to your character inside the body symbol. The pre-made body movie clip symbol you've been using has layers to it. Uh, it has a timeline for the different body parts you're going to add. So you open the body symbol. Each layer is going to have a dotted line to help you position the body parts. There's a special kind of guideline that won't, you won't show in your final movie. So we're going to open up the body symbol in the next screen. So here we go. Double click the character. And you can see the dotted lines that tell me where to place the different place the different things. So the next thing I'm do, going to do is going to add a shirt. So I'm going to open up the shirt. Let me come on down. We look at the different shirts that are available. Now you can make you can fix this later if you don't like the color. Well, um, here's a black shirt. Blue shirt, green shirt, red, orange, purple, red, and turquoise. It's going to be red. So I'm going to line it up with the lines, just like that. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick them in eyes and come back up. Click down eyes and take a look at these different eyes. It's blue. Blue with um, lashes, brown, brown with lashes, green, green with lashes, hazel, and hazel with lashes. So you just pick one and drag it and match it. Make sure that you center it. Make sure you click on eyes. Next thing I do is going to pick hair. I click on my hair layer. I click down here so we can look at the different hair. Just drag it and drop it. And make sure you line it up with the with the outline. Okay, one feature that's really cool is the edit symbols feature button here. So you can click that down and find any particular symbol and click on this um, symbol up here and you don't have to hunt for it on your stage. So I'm going to edit, click the edit symbol button here and I'm going to um, change the hair here. So what can I do? Whatever I want. Now I just unlock the hair. Then I make the change that I want to. I click that maybe and change the color, let's say. So I want it red. Click on this and make that. So now I can choose whatever I'd like. All right. So I can change the hair color. I want to, whatever I want to do. So now I just um, put the locks back on and come back out. So now we're going to lock the layer and we're ready for lab three. Next we're going to add the character voice and we're going to match the words with the character voice at the top of the screen. Next we're going to add a voice layer, so I'm just going to click New Layer. I'm going to double click it and call it Voice. In animation we use the word audio a lot when we mean sound. So when we're going to add our character's voice to animation, you're adding audio to your animation. Okay, in Project 3 we added an MP3 sound to our to our project 
In this project, we're going to add a wave sound. The difference between MP3 sound and a wave sound is pretty basic. MP3 sound is, doesn't have quite the quality of a wave sound, so it's smaller. But wave sounds, um, you, you can hear more things. It's a better sound quality. Now we're going to preview the sounds. So go back to my library. And um, let me find sounds. There's voices. So you got two sounds, a boy sound and a girl sound. Here's a boy sound. The five boxing wizards jump quickly. Here's the girl sound. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. So I'm just going to drag the girl sound onto the stage. You're not going to see it. One thing I can mention, you need to fit save your file option just often. Go click file save and make sure that you've saved it or file save as and call it um, lip sync. Save your file often, you won't um, crash and burn and lose your stuff. Now I want to format my stream sound, so I click Properties. Make sure my voice. Where it says Sync, I want to make sure it says Stream. So one thing you know, obviously, that your, your movie is going to be more than one frame. So you've got to add frames to your movie to hear the whole thing. you got to add frames to all the parts of your movie. Now I'm going to drag out my voice thing. Now I get to frame 120. I'm going to add a frame. So I go insert, timeline, frame or click F5 and you're done. So now I click in frame 120 on my back uh, on my background character layer and I put it to an F5 so I can add a frame there. And I can do the same thing on my background layer. F5 and add my frame there. I scroll all the way back to frame one. What I'm going to do is add captions now. What are captions? It's just a line in a movie that tells you what the characters are saying. You've seen this before in movies. We're going to do our own captions here. Um, we're going to add a caption symbol to our scene that shows the word at your character says. They change colors as your character says them. And a small mouthful move under the words making different shapes. So next thing I'm going to do is add a new layer and I'm going to call it caption. Now I'm going to come up here and get open up captions and they're going to go drag it onto the, the layer here. I want to make sure it shows the whole thing shows. I'm going to zoom in or zoom out rather Oh, make sure your voice layer is locked. So now we're going to go run the movie and you'll see that a small mouth is going to say these words and that'll help us put the matching mouth on the character. So let's go. Control enter. Over the lazy dog. And now you're finished with lab three.